The macro named Merge Barcodes was designed to work in conjunction with Microsoft Word Mail Merge documents so that you can generate barcodes on documents or labels that obtain the data for the barcodes from either an external text file or from a spreadsheet or database. For example, suppose that you have an Excel spreadsheet that contains columns of numbers and data that you want encoded in barcodes printed on labels. You would first perform the mail merge in Word to merge the barcode data into a document or label template. Then you run the merge barcodes macro to convert the merged data into high resolution barcode images on the labels. To demonstrate, I will first open Excel to a spreadsheet named barcodes.xlsx I created containing a column of numbers I want encoded as barcodes and a column of text I want on the labels. Note that I put the descriptive label in the first row above each column. The labels can be anything that you want, and in this example I entered the label barcode data and additional text. The purpose of the label is to identify the data later on when you set up the mail merge in Word. I then save the workbook in the documents folder and close Excel. Next, I will open Word and select the Mailings tab from the ribbon and click on Start Mail Merge and select the type of document I want to produce. For this example, I will select Labels. I then am prompted to define the type of labels I would like to use. In the Label Options window, I will select the Avery 5163 labels, which are 2 inches tall and 4 inches wide. These are standard labels that you can purchase at any office supply store and work with any standard laser or inkjet printer. After choosing the type of label that I want, I click the OK button to close the Label Options window. At this point, Word has created a table that conforms to the layout of Avery 5163 labels, but I cannot see it. I must turn on the Table Grid Lines. I do that by clicking on the Table Tools tab that has appeared above the main ribbon. I click on the Borders drop-down arrow and select View Grid Lines. These blue dashed lines are only guides. They will not print. I can now return to the Mailings tab. To continue the mailing, I click on Select Recipients. This is where we specify the spreadsheet containing the data that we want to merge into the document, and since I have an Excel document with the information ready, I click on Use Existing List. This brings up a window where I can navigate to the location I have the Excel document saved, which in this case is in the Documents folder. After I find the spreadsheet file, I will highlight it and click the Open button. Because I selected an Excel workbook, Word will ask me which worksheet in the workbook contains the data that I want to merge, so I will select Sheet 1 and click OK. The next step is to place the merge data onto the label, so I click the Insert Merge Field button. This displays a window containing a list of data fields available in the spreadsheet. The names of the fields are taken from the first row in the spreadsheet. I will select the field named Barcode Data and click the Insert button. This is the data I want encoded into a barcode. I then click Additional Text and click the Insert button. This is the data I would like to appear as text below the barcode. I then click Close. What this does is insert merge fields that represent the data I want encoded into barcodes onto the label template. The data to be encoded as a barcode must always be on its own line. To do this, I click in between the two merge fields and press the Enter key twice. The next step is very important. In order for the Merge Barcodes macro to work, you must apply a specific style name to the barcode merge data field. In Word 2007, styles can be found by clicking the Home tab. The styles may be displayed differently depending on how your ribbon is arranged. To show the full list, I click the Dialog Box Launcher button at the corner of the Styles group. When you installed the Bcoder Word macros, a set of styles named after all the different types of barcodes were also installed in Word. A style is a collection of attributes for paragraphs in a document similar to the way a font is a collection of attributes for text. The Merge Barcodes macro uses the style names to determine what fields to turn into barcodes and what type of barcodes to generate. To apply a style, I click on the Merge field I want encoded as barcodes and then select the style name from the styles list. In this case, I want to generate code 128 barcodes, so I will select the style name code 128. The merge barcodes macro uses the font size of the merge field to determine how tall the barcodes should be. In Word, you specify the size of a font in units of points, and there are 72 points in an inch. If you want half inch tall text, you would change the font size to 36. In this example, I want my barcodes to be a half an inch tall, so I will completely highlight the line containing the barcode data merge field and change the font size to 36. You can also specify text attributes to the additional text field at this point. Here, I will leave it as default. After I have applied the code 128 style to the merge fields and changed the font size to set the height that I want for the barcodes, I switch back to the Mailings tab and click on the button that reads Update All Labels so that the new style name and font size are applied to all the labels in the document. Your button may look different depending on the arrangement of your ribbon, but to make sure, hover over it for a bit and it will tell you what the button does. Now all the labels will look the same. 
The next record command is inserted by word, so each label will have new data from the spreadsheet on it. There are just two more steps to add barcodes. Click on the Finish and Merge button and select Edit Individual Documents. When I do this, Word asks me to indicate which data records from the spreadsheet I want included in the merge. I will select All and click OK. As you can see, Word has created a new document containing the labels fully merged with the data from the spreadsheet. The data appears in the document as text only, therefore we must perform the final step to convert the text to barcodes. I do this by selecting the Add-ins tab from the ribbon and click the Merge Barcodes button. The Merge Barcodes macro will automatically search through the document looking for any text that has a style name applied to it that matches a type of barcode. It then converts the text to a high-resolution image of a barcode of whatever type is specified by the style name. Since we applied the Code 128 style name to the barcode data merge field, we end up with labels containing Code 128 barcodes. To pretty things up a little, I will also click over to the Home tab, choose Editing, then Select, and click Select All. Then click on the Center Alignment button to center all the barcodes neatly in the labels. At this point, all that I need to do is load my laser printer with Avery 5163 labels and print the document. I could also save the document and print it later. Since the barcodes are stored in the document as images, Bcoder does not need to be installed on the workstation that you print the document from. This means that you can give the document containing the barcodes to someone else that does not have Bcoder installed in their system and they would still be able to print the labels on their own printer. Also, because the barcode images are high-resolution vector images, the barcode labels will print perfectly no matter what printer is used. This completes the Bcoder Word macro instruction series.